We are your area news team. All right, here we go. Center Broadcasting Company, this is Justin Mott reporting. I'm here today with Miss Lisa Carpenter. She is with a charity outreach that helps kids. Now tell us a little bit about the name and uh, your organization, Ms. Carpenter. Okay. The name of my organization is Divine Ministries Outreach Inc., short-term Divine Movement. And we originated out of Dallas, Texas, and it started in 2006. And now we're here in the East Texas area, just reaching out to a lot of the kids that are at risk with drugs, alcohol, teen pregnancy, gang violence, domestic violence, you name it. Now, how are some of the ways that you help out kids? Okay. Well, basically, you know, I'm a mother of three children. They're grown now, of course, but my overall goal is what I focus on. If I'm riding down the street and I see a child standing out on the street corner, this is my outreach. This is my opportunity. By me being a woman of faith, I want to stop and talk to that child, first of all, and say, hey, how you doing? Let them know who I am. I'm Miss Lisa, and I'm just trying to find out why you out here on the street corner by yourself. So that helps to engage in a conversation as to where the child may say, well, I'm out here because I don't have money. Maybe somebody will come by and give me money. Well, that's my opportunity right then to let them know that they don't have to hang out on the street corner because, as you all know, standing out on the street corner can lead to different things, whether it's a young boy, a girl, anything. Somebody can take advantage of that. So that's where my heart is to reach out to them, to get them off the street, to get them in an environment, whether it's in a church, whether it's in a uh, youth facility, and just to get them where they can have some stability and not hang out in society and feel like a failure. Now, yourself have had some uh, a, a past that has led you to do this. Tell us exactly what got you into doing this. Okay. Well, my past, as um, I have shared a lot on Facebook, social media, um, I'm not ashamed to say that I am a recovering addict. Uh, starting out when I was 21 years old, I was a mother of three children, had them very young. I graduated and I got strung out on crack cocaine. So growing up in this environment here in Center, Texas, I seen it was no opportunity. There was no way for me to turn my life around then when I was much younger. So I ventured out to the Dallas, Texas area, and that became my growth and my opportunity to go ahead and reach out more, not only for myself, but to further myself in some type of education, some type of shelter, some type of, you know, church that helped to turn my life around. But I got into this basically because I seen myself once as a failure. I seen my kids as a failure. And I seen a lot of kids in the Dallas, Texas area, the projects especially, as failures. But I want to be someone, even though I'm seeing this, in my mind, I'm like, they look like failures, but I can see them being a success. So I want to go ahead and instill in them on how I have been able to reach all of my goals and get to where I'm at. I'm not perfect, but I feel like I got into this to save lives, to stop kids from being hungry, to stop kids from shooting up dope, to stop kids from killing somebody, going to school, you know, getting kicked out. They can't uh, continue their education. So I got in this basically because my heart loves. And by me being a woman of faith, God said, go out into co into the community. Speak to every child that you can. You're not going to be able to reach all of them. But if you can reach one or two of them, then you have saved a child's life from being in a prison right now at a very young age. As you do unto the least of these, so you do unto me. That's right. That's well, right. thank you for meeting with us today. Thank you so much. Center Broadcasting Company, this has been Justin Mott encouraging you to go out and be amazing. CBC-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.